Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Bunkers. Yeah. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Oh, just polishing my python. What? What? Yeah, I'm, I'm polishing my python. Oh. Yeah. Is that a is that a six inch? Actually, it's an eight inch. Can I help? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Hey, Lunkers is here. We have made bulletproof armor before. Actually, Rob and I together have made some bulletproof armor before, but we've never tried some bulletproof homemade bulletproof glass. I said that really weird. Yes. We've never tried <laughs> DIY homemade bulletproof glass. All the bulletproof glass we've ever shot, I've noticed there's different layers to it. It's not just like one kind of glass. And I think there's probably a reason for that. And so we did the same thing here. You can see our layers here. And so the theory is, well, you can see right here, we have this Lexan like plexiglass. So it's like a plasticky glass. And then it is regular hard glass that will shatter and then alternate. So we have four layers of the plexiglass, three layers of regular like window pane glass, and they're alternating. The theory is the hard glass will break up the bullets the softer plastic glass will catch the bullets and they're alternating because we thought that might be a good way to do it and then in between them holding them all together is just like liquid nails which you can see this is our first iteration there's a lot of bubbles in there it was really hard to get it to work but i mean you still can see through it so if you were building a bulletproof building you could put that in it would let light through and you could see things that are outside not super clearly, but you could tell if you someone tell. was out there. So I guess we're just gonna test it. The last few videos we've tried to test stuff, it's just like the 22 goes right through. Right through. Or, I'll be really sad if that happens with this. What was, what was the last one? The lawnmowers, they just kept. Oh yeah, <laughs> lawnmowers you couldn't kill. We'll start small with the 22. Did you already cut yourself no, before the video even started? I, I stuck my hand into a screw. Did you sign the waiver when you showed up today? I did, is that good? You know what, that looks great. That looks good. <laughs> 22 long rifle versus the DIY glass. I'm gonna get back. You good? Yeah. You worried? I'm just, sometimes things bounce off of plexiglass. I try to cover my sack. Are you guys ready? <laughs> He's a sniper. Nice, you hit it. Looks like it stopped. Is that it? Did you hit it? All right, here, I'll look at it this time. I will cover yeah. myself. He wasn't looking when he shot. He Let's... said it's gonna ricochet and come back out. You know, you gotta protect your nether It regions. won't ricochet if you don't hit the target. You ready? Yep. That one hit for sure and stopped. Wow, this actually looks just like bulletproof glass does. Damn, that actually worked. Look really how well. crazy that is. It's splintered all the way back over here. Yeah, that worked really good. Okay, hmm. so we can't tell how many layers were cracked. All we can tell is that it no, look, went tell. in there. Well, you can tell like the first couple, but are they all yeah, cracked? I don't know. I don't either. Either way, it stopped. So we're not gonna shoot here again because it's probably a lot weaker there. We're gonna shoot around the edges. We're gonna up the caliber. See what we can do. This is going quite well. I was kind of worried. 22 would just go. Pwink. We got the Uzi, the machine gun out here. Um, but I'm sorry, boys. We're shooting it on semi auto because I really want to preserve this. I'll give you a full auto burst later. But right now, I'm just going to shoot one round up in a corner and see what it does. I saw dirt move. What'd it do? It did a very good job. Good job at what? It looks like it did pretty well. Wow, it actually what, did start you know. bending out. Okay, it was it was trying to stop it. It actually did pretty well. <sighs> well if you think about so... it, I wonder if the first shot weakened the glass so much that... I don't know. I mean, that's that's really far from it. I'm sure it did weaken it a little bit, but I don't know how it much. Just, it really ripped through, actually. It just busted through. I thought it didn't as much, but yeah. But maybe it slowed it down a little bit. I mean, there's the hole. It went right through. Hmm. Oh, I got glass in my hand. Why would I set my hand down on this table? Okay. That didn't stop. Let's just do that full auto rip right now. Might as well. We're gonna try semi-auto in the middle one time. Went through. Went straight through. Okay. Yeah, Rob, will you just go ahead and full send this good? thing? Just slide that lever all the way to the front and it's ready to go. Good little Uzi. It did jam, but just on the last shell. It kicked that last shell out and then jammed on it. So I've been trying to get this thing to run perfectly. We're getting closer. Rob is a terrible shot with the Uzi. Full auto, he hit it like four times. Dang, so obviously it ate up that glass big time. So the plexiglass all looks pretty much the same except for a few bullet holes. The regular glass just got tore up from the floor up. So 
did not work great. Stopped 22, no problem. Nine millimeter, that is a problem. And you need your bulletproof glass to stop a nine millimeter because everything's gonna be nine millimeter and up that you're really worried about. But we also made another thing of bulletproof glass and we made this one twice as thick as you can see here. This one has eight of the Lexan plexiglass panels and it has seven of the regular glass panels and you can see it is all packed with liquid nails to hold them all nice and tight and you can still see through this one. What do you think Lunkers? Actually this one's done really well. I think it's gonna work. This one will do really well. You think nine millimeter stop on that? Yes I do. Giddy up. You don't think so? I think it will. Yeah. Look at this weird mannequin back here. Just don't, don't look at that guys. Next up we're going bigger. That's what she said. Way bigger. This is my brand new gun. Uh, I've never actually owned one of these. This is a Colt Python. Um, apparently they have Python 2020s now, like brand new ones. This is not, this is an old one. This is a 1981 model. And it's special because it's the chrome, but it also has an eight inch barrel. So it's super long. Colt Pythons are chambered in, I think just 38 special and 357 Magnum. This one is a 357 Magnum version and I have never shot it. Python 357 Magnum. <laughs> oh, Rick Grimes up in here. Let's see how she works. Oh yeah, I like that. I missed that one though. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. I like it. I've never had a Python. I mean, I have some 357 Magnums, but this is the gun I've always looked at forever and wanted. We're gonna load another one up in there. Here's a few. Why don't you just shoot a few of it, Rob? Okay. Wow, the Python's got that power though. Dang. Not enough to hit that. Hey, I suck with these. <laughs> You hit the tree. You hit a. You hit 18 inches left. Hey, wait. Shoot it single action. Pull the hammer back. That'll help. Slow squeeze. Slow squeeze. There you go. Got to think about it. You just sunk one right in my oak tree. That's the first oak tree. <laughs> the first oak tree we have shot on the range. I should have known Rob would do it. Try to hit the glass. We'll see. You might need another round. I have no idea. I don't either. I wasn't counting. Single action. Slow squeeze it. Oh yes. Oh, all right. That's corner shot. Did it, it stop? It. Verdict is. It stopped. That was a great shot. That was perfect. Oh, shoot. shoot. Yeah, the bullet's right there. It is in there. Man, it was close though. That's great though. 357 awesome. Magnum. We made bulletproof awesome. glass that stops 357 Magnum, and we had the weakest high five on video ever. <laughs> so good. Crispy literally just showed up. Like, I didn't know he's coming. Rob said he told me, but I don't think he did. All right, we're gonna shoot the 5.7 out of the old Banshee. Um, problem is, my sight's not working. This is a Trigicon. I think it might be out of batteries. So you're gonna have to do it with no sights. Good luck. I'll guesstimate. What am I shooting? The glass. The glass. This From right here? You, this is how you know Crispy literally shows up. He doesn't even know what video we're making right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what are we doing? Okay. Well, I'll guesstimate, I guess. Yeah, you got it. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Lower. Hard. There it is. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Good job. You can edit the other one out. <laughs> what do you got, Rob? Oh. It stopped? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Wow, Dude, I, it did less. Damn, it did less damage. I thought it was going to rip through because it's a smaller round. This was a 357 mag. That's crazy. Whoa. Sweet. Okay, so you can see our entry hole there. And you can't see it. That's the 357 mag still in there. The 57 is not as deep. That's what she said. I think you should. That doesn't even make sense. Why would she say that? Too big. <laughs> this is me, and that's Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is the Mini 14, chambered in 5.56. This thing's going straight through it. Hold on, you know what we didn't do with this gun that you have to do? You gotta do the flick. You gotta go. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. You wanna do it? That looks really neat. Let me try that. <laughs> you have to. Go. Boom! Kick it out. Ah, that's why Mary likes you. Okay, I got this. Because I'm really neat. Yeah, that was it. Oh. 
Oh. Almost as smooth. That was almost as smooth. All right, send it, Rob. Going through. Oh, it was a low shot. Let's go see. Hold on. You, you doing it? All right. Dude, that stopped it. I Did it go through? Low. I yeah. shot low trying like to. It. Ooh. No, it stopped the low one. It stopped the low one. No, it went through. Oh, oh it stopped, oh, the, stopped the low let's one. Let's see. The low one might have gone out the bottom. No, <laughs> no. It, there's no exit one. Look. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, it yeah. came down. No, we would be able to see it. It would have gone right here. Dude, I shot low trying to keep it out of the other ones. Oh, it's still wet in there. Oh, Dang it. Dude, it's stuck right there. Look. Is that it right there? We can find out. No. I think it went through. I don't think we made rifle bulletproof glass. Hmm. Gosh darn it. I can still never get used to this open bolt. The open bolt's weird, right? It's weird. Fourth of July sale this weekend on all of the Demolisha merch. 20% off if you use code DEMO20, link in the description below. Hey Rob, thanks for coming I'm down here. for the video today. Hey Crispy, thanks for coming for the last quarter of the video. <laughs> 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 Link to the description below to both these guys. Thank you guys for watching our first attempt at a little DIY bulletproof glass. Let me know what you think we can do better if we're going to try to make it bulletproof up to rifle calibers. Maybe thicker panels of glass, maybe just a whole bunch of thicker, like maybe we need to do like twice as much. Let me know, comments below. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? Oh, you guys. <laughs> he dropped the mask. Okay, that just, excuse me, that just happened. What happened?